so lost Chasing what I know I will find You got me so high Leaving me waiting all this time Come back around You got me waiting The weight has got me feeling so down I can't control Going into it was that I was going to be in a house with 23 random women who I never met before. But I found comfort in that because I knew that we were all going through the same thing. Like, obviously not the same thing, but we all were struggling on our own journeys, whether that be with eating disorders, body image, anxiety, depression, whatever it happened to be. And we all bonded so closely and so deeply. And I found so much comfort in hearing Mick's speech that just like broke my heart. And Gabby and Kaylin and Rachel, those women are so amazing and so empowering. And they're going to change the freaking world one day because they already changed all of ours. And I can't wait for the next Rose Retreat because I will go to every single one of them for the rest of my life if that means I get to spend the weekend with those amazing women again and feel like my life has a purpose. Thank you guys, I love you so much. If I don't speak, who will? If I don't speak, who will? I want you guys to think right now, what are three words that come to your mind when you think of a healthy, loving relationship? You guys can speak up. Support, trust, communication, kindness, honesty. Exactly, so I want you guys to think about that. Um, so, when I was in high school, I just lost the love of my life, which was soccer. Like, 
I was a hardcore athlete. I was a soccer player. I was going to play D1 college. I had scholarships ready and set to go, full ride, and then I was going to play on the USA national. Like that was it, and that was what I was going to do. And I didn't have a plan. So my junior year of high school, all of that was ripped away from me. It was then where I kind of started feeling self-conscious about my body because I was eating the same. Life changing. It's the only way I can describe the Rose Retreat. Um, it helped me grow personally and professionally. It helped me heal from things. It helped me understand others more. It was a weekend full of tears and laughs and lots of hugs and even s'mores and adventures. And we did have so much fun and we had lots of laughs and we enjoyed each other's company, but we also grew so much. Michaela, Gabby, Kaylin, and Rachel, they brought a different light. Each person brought a different light. Each individual brought a different story and we learned something different from all four of them. But we also learned from each other. And I grew a family I didn't know I needed. I grew a safe space that I didn't know even existed. It was non-judgmental. It was an unbiased area. It was a safe space for us to tell our stories and feel trusting and feel safe and comfortable to grow and to heal. Um, I grew a lot as an individual and if we're being completely honest, it was the best thing in my life. Like it was the best thing that I could have gone to. It was the best thing I could have done for myself. Get out of your comfort zone and go. Um, I healed from things that I had lied to myself and already told myself I had healed from. And in that process, I grew friends and family that will be lifelong that I didn't even know I needed. Um, and it honestly was life changing and that's the best way I can explain it. Go to a rose retreat. It, you will not regret it. It will change your life in so many ways. And Michaela and Gabby are two of the most driven, compassionate, powerful women I have ever met. And you will be so lucky and blessed to go with the two of them, to do this with them. They are doing this to help you and they saved me. So my favorite part of the Rose Retreat has been making such incredible connections in such a quick period of time and um, just really opening doors for us to realize that even though women, like we're so different and unique woman to woman, like we all share so many things that are similar. Even though like our journeys have been different, like we all have our struggles, like whether you have 100,000 followers or whether you have like 200 followers, like we all have similar problems, similar things that we're working through and like for me that has brought like such a humanity to women instead of like always idolizing others or thinking that others like have more than you because like we all struggle with so many things and like when you break it down we all relate to each other a lot more than, than we even realize. Yes we do! For as long as I can remember, I have struggled with self-image issues. Um, I'm very naturally curvy and heavy set. So for my entire life, I've been taught by my friends, family, and the rest of society that if I wasn't skinny, I wasn't good enough and that I needed to try harder and be more because of that. Um, my heart and my mind and like my sense of humor, all the things that make me who I am were always discounted. So. I always allowed other people's opinions to affect my opinion of myself. Um, I think the scariest thing about not truly loving who you are is the constant roller coaster of emotions and just the extreme feelings of loneliness that you always have. Um, my self image issues were at an all time high in the last couple of years. Uh, I lost about 30 pounds and I started receiving a lot of really positive outside attention. Um, and in order to continue receiving that attention, I began struggling really badly with um, an eating disorder. So I wouldn't, you know, gain that weight back and start getting negative attention again. In that time, I lost real focus on like my real life and I just started pouring my whole being into just becoming this person or trying to look a certain way and I completely lost who I was. Um, it wasn't an obsession, it was, it was my life and 
the eating disorder really had complete control over me. Um, I never felt like I could really talk to anybody or get out of the disorder. And I especially never thought that I'd be around a group of people and women who would understand where, you know, where I was in my journey with myself. Um, so through all of that, I just continued to struggle in silence and the loneliness just continued to grow inside of me. Getting invited to the Rose Retreat was a huge deal for me and showing up was a huge deal because I knew I was finally giving, um, given the chance to quit focusing on my flaws and quit fearing not being accepted by other people. Um, right now I'm in the midst of recovering and with that has come significant weight gain and a lot of other negative repercussions. You know, a lot of mornings I still wake up struggling with believing that I'm doing the right thing for myself by not binging and purging and, and not restricting my calories and working out multiple times a day. But the retreat changed something in me because I felt like when I left that I wasn't alone anymore. And I left feeling like I didn't have to hide behind my disorder or what I looked like anymore. Mick, Rachel, Gabby, and Kaylin gave me a lot of words of life and a lot of tools and obviously 20 new friends. Um, but what they really gave me was a new safe place and a new sense of belonging and hope. I was able to be surrounded by women who didn't have to know my story or where I came from and what I've been through, but still made me feel like I was supported and worthy and loved, but most importantly, accepted right where I'm at. The Rose Retreat for me was something that I needed and not necessarily knew that I needed. I kind of went on a whim and kind of took a big risk going on this retreat. It's not something that I would normally do, but I'm so incredibly grateful for just kind of listening to my gut and my mind telling me that this is what I needed to do. I got so many great resources from this retreat and I met so many amazing people and I didn't even know that this would really empower and affect my way of thinking and really truly help bring me out of the funk that I was in before going into the retreat. Um, I really learned a lot and I think that if you're struggling is definitely something that you should look into because the resources you get out of it are so beneficial. Well, and I mean being on a weekend retreat with that many women and realizing you were in a judgment free zone where no one was judging your body or how you looked or how you spoke, I mean it's so empowering and realizing that you're not alone on your journey and I'm not alone in my journey. It just, it's thing. And realizing that these are women you have lifelong friendships with now. And if you ever need anything, they'll be there for you. And if I could go on every single rose retreat from this point on, I would. Because these women were the most amazing women I have ever met. And I can't wait until I meet them again. Because this retreat just, it, it gave me everything. Hi, I'm Jackie and I got to go on the first ever Rose Retreat. Um, when I say that's a life-changing event, I absolutely mean it. Um, I went in there not knowing anyone. I followed Gabby, Michaela, Kaylin, and Rachel on Instagram. Um, I followed their stories, and obviously when I saw that they were posting for the Rose Retreat, I'm like, I'll apply, see what it's all about. Um, August 10th came. And I was terrified. I got in a car with complete strangers, um, got there, and instantly I felt at ease. The people and the women that were there were beyond empowering and beyond loving. Everyone knew that we were there for the same reasons, and that was that some way, shape, or form, we felt alone. And I can genuinely tell you that after this retreat, we are not alone. I went into the Rose Retreat not exactly knowing what I was going to get out of it or how I was going to feel after it. I went in knowing, you know, that I would probably feel a little bit better about myself, but I didn't know how much. And to be honest, I wasn't sure if I exactly would get a lot out of it. Um, I can say now, after the retreat, I've gained so much 
so much love and compassion and tools that my heart is so full it is almost overflowing and I can tell you the people I met are going to be friends for a lifetime and I want to thank Michaela, Kaylin, Gabby, and Rachel for such an amazing weekend and a life-changing weekend and if you're watching this go do it for yourself please do it for yourself go what is up beautiful I'm here at my parents house in my bathing suit by working by the pool um it has officially been one week since the rose retreat and it hasn't been until now that I have been able to fully digest all of the emotions and events that have happened the past weekend um only because it was one of the best weekends of my entire life and if you guys are watching this and are like what the heck are you talking about Mick um I'll give you a little overview you guys just watched um the video that Gabby put together over the weekend and if you couldn't tell already like it was absolutely amazing so I am the founder of the Rose Retreat it first started off with just calling it the Rose Party and we are gonna make it like a few hours long and have limited access um, make it like super close-knit um, like we did in the actual retreat but like I said we we're only gonna make it like four hours and then it quickly escalated to like a weekend retreat and I have never felt more at peace with a decision in my entire life and although it was so stressful because it was the first one that my team and I, Gabby, um, Rachel Turner, and Kaylin all put together, it was just absolutely mind-blowingly incredible. The growth and the love that we all created within that weekend was absolutely insane and just so so freaking inspiring so it is called the rose retreat and rose stands for renew overcome self-love and empowerment so any girl who has struggled so hard or art or is struggling right now we want these retreats to be for you yes the weekend retreat that we just did was in hawking hills ohio but we are planning to expand this nationwide and our next retreat is in Michigan spring break time so keep your eyes peeled for updates on that but hopefully in the future like we won't just be in the United States we're gonna be worldwide because the message that the retreat you know gives to people is hope hope for recovery in their eating disorders depression um, and recovery in their emotional trauma from abusive relationships or just any struggles that they are dealing with along the lines of you know self-image issues and I am just so humbled by the girls who came and participated in the past weekend I mean these girls came with an open heart and they came not knowing what to expect coming into the weekend and that is so so powerful so if you girls are watching this thank you so much if you're watching this and you want to be a part of this i can't wait for you to come on the next retreat like i said it's going to be in michigan the link will be provided down below for you guys to be a part of our email list so you can get the schedule all you need to do is just sign up and you know Every couple weeks we will send an email on updates and locations and information about the speakers that will potentially be coming and what's all included within the retreat. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait for this to grow and for not just my message but for your message to be spread throughout the world because our messages are so important and our stories are so important and owning your story is so important. Um, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait for you guys to come along the next retreat with us. Three, two, one. <laughs>